channel so i'm getting ready to go somewhere with my friends but i have this wig from our african that i'm about to put on so this is what the unit looks like this really pretty like auburn kind of reddish color it's a yakky texture and this is what it looks like i forget how long it is i want to say it's like 22 inches because it looks pretty long it's also really full but i'll have everything down below like the density and all of that but you know while african comes pre-plucked it comes pre-bleached um and this hairline looks so freaking good like look at that so i'm going to straighten the unit off of my head because y'all know last time i didn't do that and my arms was killing me so that's what i'm about to do before i do everything else um just using my baby bliss titanium pro which is not even one and then i'm going to use this care care heat protector that also gives it like a nice little sheen without making it too greasy so this is what i'm about to do hurry up and get this straightened and then i'm gonna put it on and then i think i want to do like i keep seeing this style where they have it like pulled back right here and then the top half is clipped and the rest is down so i think that's what i want to do today um okay so got it nice and straight it actually took like less time than i thought that was gonna take me forever but it only took like one to two passes to get it really straight which is rare um with the yaki hair because of the crimps that be in there but this one came out really easy like the crimps came out really easy um but yeah now i'm gonna go in with my perfect line inside my partying area and then i'm gonna put it on so yeah, i'm gonna put my wig cap on i'm not gonna do the wig cap method this time but i'm gonna just put it on so i can see if i need to um remove any of the lace so i know how far to put the perfect line so the wig cap fits really good but i am gonna have to cut away just a tiny bit right here so i'm gonna probably start my perfect line like back here Removing these little corners. Does they just make it harder to cut the ear tap? So I'm just shaping the wig cap, not the wig cap, the lace to my natural hairline if that makes sense. That's why you see me keep lifting it up and then kind of cutting around one so I don't have like a straight across hairline and two I want it to look like my real hairline. I'm also cutting like just little chunks out up here so that it's not straight across it's like more jagged because i found that when i do like this like when i pull the lace when i cut to make it like jagged sometimes it causes the lace to like roll up and i don't like that so i just do it like this now just to cut away chunks so it's not straight across
and if you had like a widow's peak like i have a little one but mine is not super sharp um you would just like cut this back to create your widow's peak i just leave like a little one But like I don't know if you guys could tell that the lace is like doing like this I think that looks really good and it's not glued out or anything this I'm gonna have to fill in a little bit I put too much of the perfect line right here so it's making it kind of look like I have a ball spot so I'm just scraping the hair back up it's actually a really good glueless unit because it's like fitting my ears really good and yeah I know that's rare only certain companies have figured that out yeah that's really good do I leave our glueless today let me clean up the part really quick This hair is like red. So I mixed, I'm using It's My Rare Race palette. I mixed this red right here with this dark brown. And I'm just like lining up the part. I like that. Why don't I have anything out? While that's warming up, I'm gonna pluck it just a little bit in the front. So I kinda like plucked away the perfect line, so I'm just gonna scoop a little on the end of this comb and just like push it and flex and I just do this and just kind of like push it forward to blend it upward So this is the unit glueless. Um, I still kind of want to do that style though. So I'm going to glue it down. But it is on there. Come right now, you know where I stand. I just want to say you're my, you're my. I just want to say you're my, you're my. Would you hurry on my, you're my. All I'm really asking for. to tie it down for a second bag of claw clips I can't find I have like a nude one and I don't know where it is Got it glued down. The sun just came out. It got super bright. Let's see. 
I don't know. The sun is like playing games right now. It's really cloudy outside. But this is what it looks like glued down. It's really good. And now, I didn't even look at how to do the style, y'all. I just seen a picture. I was like, I'm going to do that. Okay, let's figure it out. Never seen the style from the side. <laughs> Okay, all done. And I like it. It came out really cute. Show you the sizes. I said I've never seen the side. This is how it looks from the side. And then I just kind of fan the back out like this to kind of hide the tracks if any will peek through. It came out really good. Super cute. I'm glad I glued it down. Okay, so I am all done. It's time for me to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have everything down below in the description box, coupon codes, links to the stuff that I use. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you on my next one.